Good evening. All right, so I did a little bit of physical treatment experimentation. We have the original first piece I made here, and then this is the JB Weld piece. What I've done is I attempted to make a uh, kind of a beveled airfoil uh, edge to these fins, or to these pieces as if they were fins, and see if I could, you know, get a, a decent form on them and get them smooth, etc. So, as was mentioned, the JB Weld uh, piece, it did turn into more of a uh, uh, layer cake, as it were, of denim, epoxy, denim, epoxy. But it did actually take a pretty good shape, if I can get it there. And something like this would require some um, finer sanding and then maybe even a little bit of uh, treatment to the edge with maybe some uh, uh, thin CA glue or something. Um, the sanding rig I'm using is this uh, sander from Harbor Freight. The belt on this, um, oh, I can't remember what grit this is. Uh, da, 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 da. What is that? 230, I think it says on there, right? Come on, focus thing. Anyway, it's it's pretty coarse, and it's it's the belt that actually came with it. Um, I have some belts with with finer grit sandpaper, but I haven't installed those yet. So again, this is you know just a preliminary test. You know, see how it performs. So again, the uh, the JB Weld, it's a bit more rigid, and it seems to actually take the edge a little bit better now this still yes it does look incredibly rough but you can definitely see that airfoil shape right there now compare that to the original piece this is using the uh, 15 minute clear epoxy which actually soaked into the individual fibers of denim i've got kind of the shape here i, I managed to actually get a pretty good rounded edge on this side this side, not so much. And I noticed that when it was sanding, it would fray and and splinter and just kind of like grind off in pieces. Not so much grinding it off to powder like, like you'd expect with, you know, actually sanding something where it becomes, you know, really, really small particles. This was more like as if I were trying to sand it with a saw blade. So that's a very interesting result. The fact that the JB Weld actually held up to the sanding better. Now, again, I could try different kinds of epoxy and see what I get. Um, I have here some Loctite 5 Minute. Um, I don't know how well that would work in this kind of a setup because um, I, I would definitely prefer to have a longer cure time. Um, but this is what I've got sitting around. I think that's actually a shorter cure time than the... Uh, the Harbor Freight stuff, because I, I'm pretty sure that stuff's 15 minute, but I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then I've got this stuff, um, Plastic Bonder. It's a 20 minute cure, but uh, I've never used this one before, and I tried it out tonight for something else, and, well, that was not what I was expecting. That stuff came out to be more of a, almost more like cake frosting. It was like Really opaque, really pasty, didn't mix worth the darn, and I, I, I don't like this stuff. I don't know, maybe my tube went bad? Shoot, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, but yeah, I'm going to try this with like maybe some finer sandpaper and uh, uh, also try to get some better quality uh, epoxies. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still wanting to try to do this with, you know, Walmart or hardware store grade materials. But uh, if I can, you know, find something reasonably affordable and easy to come by that's a good 20 or 30 minute epoxy online, I might go ahead and give that a try just for a comparison. But, uh, yeah, that, that was definitely not expected to have this stuff actually not hold up as well to the sanding versus the JB Weld. So, yeah, because that's definitely a cleaner edge. So, anyway. Um, so, as far as this uh, JB Weld piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can uh, cut a section of this out. Um, 
coworker of mine is going to take these two as well as some other pieces that I have yet to build, and he's going to actually try out some uh, uh, penetration tests at the shooting range. Um, and then as for me, I'm going to see if the piece I cut off of the JB Weld uh, chunk here, uh, I'm going to see if I can break it. I'm going to see if I can burn through it. Pretty much the same thing I did with this piece over here. So, the science marches forward.